November 5th, 2024. Kamala Harris defeats a Republican campaign. On January 20th, 2025, Kamala Harris is sworn in as the 47th President of the United States. Unfortunately, she keeps her promises. Kamala takes over a divided government, signing hundreds of executive orders implementing a left-wing agenda. Kamala replaces all the constitutionalists as party-line Democratic loyalists. The federal oath of office now requires declaring a loyalty to the president, not the constitution. Kamala orders her FBI to arrest political opponents for treason and conspiracy. Challenges to her authority are rejected by the Supreme Court, which has seen new appointments from Harris as it has expanded to 13 justices. All freedom funds of each state gets hundreds of thousands of dollars, which made them bail out criminals. Right-wing protests erupt. Harris addresses the nation from the Oval Office, invoking the Interaction Act and declaring the protesters a danger to American sovereignty. She orders the National Guard to use deadly force to suppress the protests. Harris awards herself new powers under the newly signed American Freedom Protection Order, labeling protests of bail policies as non-protected speech and a danger to the First Amendment. World War III erupts all over the world due to the wars of Ukraine and Israel. Harris addresses the nation calling for use of nuclear weapons against Russia. It is announced that Kamala will run for re-election in 2028 for a second term. If you hear all this and believe it is impossible, then ask yourself, what do you believe was impossible just four years ago with Biden? This isn't a fantasy, it's Kamala's plan, and she's counting on you to believe it couldn't happen. Mechavich Policy Specs is responsible for the content of this advertising.